we are taking the derivative of f of x equal to 1 over sine, and in parentheses here you can see it's x squared plus 1. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take what's in the denominator and bring it to the top. There's a rule that we can use called the quotient rule, but we hadn't talked about that yet on uh, taking the derivative of this so I'm going to rewrite this and take this to the top and the real reason here for that is is because there's a constant up here in the numerator and if there's a constant in the numerator and we've got some function uh, down here that's not a constant right we always want to take it to the top because it just makes things a whole lot simpler so let's get started um, I'm just going to rewrite this so we have f of x is equal to and when I take this to the top, you're going to see here that the whole thing is going to be raised to the negative 1, right? So I'm going to put it all in brackets here and write negative 1 here. And that's some sloppy handwriting, but uh, I'm writing on a pad, and it's kind of difficult writing on a pad. And I don't know. There's some other alternatives. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do here, use webcam or what, but... Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this negative 1 and bring it out front. Now, we're taking the derivative now. So I'm going to write f prime of x is equal to, so I'm going to take the negative 1, bring it out front. Now, I'm going to rewrite everything that's inside the brackets here. So we have x squared plus 1 and uh, closing the brackets. Now if I subtract one from that, that becomes negative 2. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is chain the stuff that's inside the brackets out. So all of this stuff inside here, we're now going to take the derivative. So the derivative of sine x is cosine and uh, rewriting everything in that parentheses now we're still not done. We're going to take the derivative now of what's in these parentheses and chain it out. So the derivative of x squared is plus 1 is 2x. Well, it's just 2x. The derivative of 1 is 0, right? All right, so let's uh, kind of clean this up. So I'm going to leave the negative 1 and the cosine of uh, this stuff here in parentheses and the 2x. I'm going to leave all that in the top. So this is going to become negative 2x cosine of x squared plus 1. And that's going to all be over um, this stuff here that's in the brackets, actually. So this is raised to the negative 2. Now I'm going to take this down into the denominator. And I'm going to write this uh, how we'd normally write this uh, sine function, that if it's squared, we'd usually put it right here. Okay. And then we have x squared plus 1. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Plus uh, 1. I've had some problems with my writing pad today. Um, Okay, so here's the derivative, and uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it at that. So that's it.